when this country became a nation, we were taken from the British jurisdiction into American jurisdiction. We've always been the ward of the United States federal government from its very birth. No other people have that. What really helped the black community way back when was that you had a vigorous debate. You had Booker T. Washington and you had W.E.B. Du Bois. And I think one of the things that's hurting some communities now, including my own Jewish community, is an attempt to silence discussion. It was big government who made the states stop abusing the Tenth Amendment to enforce racial laws of segregation against my people. It was all big government that did that. So we have a problem as black folks, and America has a problem, and the Tea Party has a problem. If they want to reach black people, they're going to have to come up with a way of addressing the fact that we are addicted to the federal government. That's not a, that's not a, that's not a criticism or, 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 or judgment on anybody. This is just the way it is. If people were to go in there, it's not a bunch of raving leftists running around preaching death to Republicans. You know, it, it's black medical and health issues. It's, you know, the Army and Marines are in there. Yes, you have your agitators like SEIU and the NEA. We hold on to Barack Obama because we ain't got nothing to hold on to. So it's an emotional issue. So if we're going to reach black people, we've got to start talking about the plight of black people. There's a guy in there, Brian White, signing a book called Black Carpenter. Personally, I think we need more people of all stripes being carpenters, plumbers, electricians, etc. We're challenging the black leadership conservatives to pull together a body politic. Jesse Lee Peterson, you know, and some of the speakers in there both represent the black community. If, if Benjamin Jealous was smart, if he was smart, he would come out here and he would go on that microphone right there. He'd look at Jesse Peterson in his face, say, Mr. Peterson, you're right. We NACP guys, we're a bunch of socialists, racists, communists. We are all the things you say we are. But yes, we've abandoned black people. Mr. Peterson, what do you propose to do for the masses of black people? Give us a plan and we'll follow you. And while there's Barack Obama's black liberal vision, you've got Armstrong Williams and Ward Connerly's black conservative vision. And I think everybody needs to see that. And so perhaps, hopefully, Jesse Peterson's controversial step would cause black people, even those who disagree with him, to at least consider what's wrong with him, what's he thinking about, and maybe they'll find their way.